Hi, this is J.D. Ingram of the Charleston Pipe Band, and I want to welcome you to my series on how to be a great piper in three steps. As a refresher, here is the tree diagram for our three easy steps. Stay tuned as we dive into today's topic. Part two of step two, blowing steady. Why is it so important to blow steady? Well, tone is a direct function of pressure. Uneven pressure means uneven tone. And so having a tuned bagpipe and a pleasing performance is impossible if you're not blowing steady. We're gonna break down the skills of blowing steady into three points. The first is physical blowing. The second is mental blowing or mental blowing anomalies. And the third is blowing in the sweet spot or at the correct pressure for your reeds. The drills will start practicing physical blowing by blowing long tones and testing ourselves with a meter. Then we'll do this again, but focus on different arm positions, blowing from an almost empty bag, blowing from a full bag, trying to reinflate the bag as if perhaps you thought you were about to cut out, but the pipe major called one more repeat. We'll do a posture check, which is a good foundational element of physical blowing. Then we'll practice our mental blowing by practicing tunes and exercises again with your pressure meter to make sure that you're not adjusting. And then upping the ante by doing that exact same exercise without looking at the pressure meter by using video evidence to see if we're doing it really, truly subconsciously. Then we'll focus on finding the sweet spot of our reed by testing out our chanter reed with a pressure meter and repeating all the prior drills focused on being at the sweet spot. Here are the drills that I wrote out for this section. The actual notes that you play are less important than focusing on having steady pressure either with a tuning meter or a pressure meter for physical blowing and definitely with a pressure meter for mental blowing. The long tones I've picked out here are the ones that I find easiest to tell if you're in tune or not against your drones, so it's nice to focus on those for physical blowing. The key points to make with mental blowing is having a, a piece of music that crosses the entire range of the scale, low G all the way up to high A, and also has a mixture of quick bits and slow bits so that you can see if either finger work or specific note that is being played is affecting your mental pressure. <laughs>
Life Guys. As a refresher, we were discussing step two, have a good sounding bagpipe. Part two, blowing. We broke that down into physical blowing, mental blowing, and blowing in the sweet spot. We went over a couple drills, but all of it boils down to blow steady. Take care, guys. Have a good week.